Before starting this video, I would like to give a shout out to my friends at Glazed Ink. They do sell tempered glass screen protectors and cases for a lot of devices like the iPhone, OnePlus 3, Moto G5 Plus, Redmi Note 4 and so on. The tempered glass screen protector that you see in this video is from them and if you want to order, just go to glazedink.com and enter the promo code GIZMO for a discount. Hey guys, Gizmodic here and this is a quick video on how to enable the hidden camera features on your Moto G5 Plus. So in case you don't know, Google supports this feature called Camera 2 API on Android, which basically lets third-party apps to explore the full potential of the camera on your smartphone. A lot of phones like the Nexus lineup, the Pixel smartphones and even the OnePlus smartphones do support it out of the box but unfortunately the Moto G5 Plus doesn't have that. To enable it on the G5 Plus, you need to root the phone and follow the method that I will be showing in this video. So if your G5 Plus is already rooted, then great, but if it's not, then don't worry, as I do have a full tutorial about it, which you can watch by clicking the i button here. Okay, so considering that you do have a rooted Moto G5 Plus, what you need to do is go to the Google Play Store and download this app called Build.Prop Editor. Once it is installed, open it and here you will see a list of system values with their properties. Click on three dots at the top right corner and select add. Now under property write persis.camera.hal3.enabled and under value write one. Click on save and if it asks for any permission then grant it. Reboot your phone now and once you have rebooted the phone, the camera 2 API should be enabled on your phone. If you are into photography or taking videos, then enabling the camera 2 API opens up a lot of potential to click better photos from your smartphone. You can use apps like Open Camera, Manual Camera, Freed Cam and so on to have a complete control over the camera of your phone. And in fact, some of these apps also let you shoot in RAW format, which if you know anything about photography is great for video editing. Video creators like me can also benefit from this as it does give you a complete control over the video settings as well. I use this app called Cinema 4K which gives you a host of controls for video editing ranging from bitrate to manual focus, ISO, shutter speed, white balance and even a flat profile option so that I can color grade my videos later on. In fact, this video is being shot on a OnePlus 3 using the Cinema 4K app. I'm displaying some of the samples on the screen right now from the G5 Plus and Cinema 4K in 4K and as you can see the final output is really good for such a budget phone. Hence by this way you can enable the hidden camera 2 API feature and get the most out of the camera of the Moto G5 Plus. I hope this video helped you out and if it did then definitely show your support by liking and sharing this video. I have a hell lot of videos about the Moto G5 Plus coming soon to the channel. So a lot of things like the camera comparisons with the iPhone 7 Plus, the OnePlus 3 and so on are hitting the channel very soon. So make sure that you subscribe and press the bell icon so that you are notified when my new videos drop. If you have any questions about the Moto G5 Plus then definitely let me know in the comments or on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and I'll make sure that I reply to them. That's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.